Welcome to Graphitorials. In today's video, you will learn how to design burger restaurant poster in Photoshop. So this is what we'll be working on today. I'll teach you how I did everything you've seen on the screen. So make sure you don't skip any part in this video. Watch it, watch it to the end. Okay? So let's start. The first thing you do is to create a new workspace. So to create a new workspace, go to File, New. So I'll be using 4x5, let's say Boga Restaurant. Boga Restaurant. Okay. Hit Create. Okay, so our workspace has been created. Let's start working on the backgrounds and other things. Okay. So let's up, let's um, bring in the background. So I'll be using a gradient. Okay, for the background. Okay, so go to adjustment layer, gradient. Open this. I've already created the background for it, so you can you can use you can even use this and customize it. Okay, it will work fine. So let me do it. Let me show you how I did it. Okay, so let me show you how I did that. So click on this, change the color to darker. So press OK, change this to radial, reverse it. Okay. So move this up a little bit. Okay, okay. I think this is okay. So this is how I got the background. Okay, you can save this as new. That's how I got this. Save it as new. Okay, so but I'll be working with this. This is the one I used. So the other one will work very fine. Okay. So press. Okay. So guys, if today is the first time coming to my channel, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you're gonna you get notified anytime I drop a new video. I hope you have done that. So let's continue. So the next thing we'll do is to let me start working on the background. First, let's add a text shot to the background. I will be using a noise. Um, I will be using noise for it. Okay, so let's go to file noise, add noise, convert to smart. So reduce the size. The noise is kind of is too much. So let's reduce it. Let's reduce it. I think it's okay like this. Press OK. So let me, let's bring in the bugger. So I'll give you access to download all the resources I, I used for this project. You see it in the description below. Okay. So the bugger is in a Photoshop file like this. So I downloaded it from freepick.com. So you have access to download it. Okay. So don't worry. So we drag this to your workspace. Okay, first let's increase our workspace. Okay, let's increase it. Go to image, image size, image size. Click add 10 so that it adjusts with balance. Okay, add 10. This is okay. So let's drag in our bugger. Drag it in, drag it into the workspace like this. Press Ctrl T, increase the size, increase the size a little bit. Press Enter. Then close this. Let's okay. So select the hide this bugger. Select this background. Go to file camera raw. So I want to add um, some clarity. Make the color pop out more. Okay. So contrast. This is okay. This is okay like this. So enable your bugger. So the next thing we'll do is to let me add a rectangle. Rectangle under this bugger. So grab your rectangle too. Drag it and drop. Change the color to white. Okay, press Ctrl T to transform the rectangle 
So let's queue. Take it up a little. Take it up like this. Press Control. Okay, press Enter. Press Control T again to transform. Hold Shift. Drag this up. Okay. Now you hold anything. Just drag it up. Think it's cool now. Press Enter. Then press Control T. Press OK. Then this is good like this. So let's work on our back burger. Okay, let's first let's add a shadow on it on under the um, burger. So to do so, create a new empty layer. Grab your brush to make sure your brush. You select this soft rounded in general brush. Let's select this soft rounded brush. Okay, so use the bracket button beside your beside uh, P on your keyboard to increase and decrease the size. Okay, make sure this is in black. Okay, make sure the hardness is in zero. Press enter, then click. Okay, take this under this bugger. Press Ctrl T, hold Shift and Alt, and drag this down so that all of them will adjust together. So hold Shift and Alt and expand this. Press Enter. This is good. So select the bugger, go to File, Camera Raw, increase the clarity, go to this HCL adjustment, increase the red, increase this. Orange, yellow, green. Mm. We are only increasing colors that is on this um, that on this burger. Okay, so let's increase this more. So the burger has more of this mm, color. Let's increase this red. Okay, let's increase green more. I think this is good. So let's see the before and after. Before after before after. Press okay. You see how the um, burger is looking now. It's looking good and more better. So let's save our work. Control S to save. Always save your work so that you, you won't lose your work if your Photoshop crashes or if you are interrupted by light or anything. Okay. So the next thing we we'll do is to bring in other resources I used for the project. So I have downloaded everything. I'll give us to get them. So keep this here. Reduce the size. Keep it somewhere here. Press enter. Then let's bring in this. Reduce the size. Keep it somewhere here. Reduce the size. Press enter. Go to file, blow, motion blow. And this is better this is good press ok so the next thing we do is to um, begin ok let's bring in other icons I used on the project let's add a little more okay, I think this is better so let's bring in the other icons I used for the project so I will also give you access to download them this is um, burger food icons ok so let's um, put them in the design. So we'll grab this pass to. I'll be using this pass to. Or let's use this polygonal lasso to this one. This one will be very easy to use. Okay. So press enter. Select this. Press enter. Pick your move to. Then drag it to your design. Keep it somewhere here. Increase the size. Okay, keep it somewhere here. So I reduce this, reduce this. Control T. So keep it somewhere here. Take this, Control T, increase it a little bit, press Enter. Then press Control I to invite. Or you can go to this adjustment, invert. Okay. Go to image adjustment invite to change it to white and black adjustment invite. 
okay so let's um, bring in the next one control d to the select so select this press enter use your move to drag it to your design then place it somewhere here control t to increase it press enter and press ctrl i to invert like doing you can do it from here invert okay so let's bring in the next one ctrl d to the select select the polygonal tool select this press enter use the move to drag it to your design so press ctrl t okay so let me make everything go faster let me use the one i added on this design so that everything will go very fast okay so let me use this let me drag it to the design so you see the one i showed you that's how i added all this okay that's how i picked all all of them and add them here using the polygonal tool select it use the move to drag it to your design and drop it so that's how i added all this so i'm 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 using this one so that our work will be faster okay so take these icons down take it down okay so the next thing we'll do is to let's um, let's type in our test so i will be using a font i will be using a font name iris groove Groover, okay i'll give you access to download them i'll give you access to download them okay so let's go okay type in boga ctrl t press enter select the iris groove groover so let's pick color from here you can pick color from here so that it will be, it will be easier for you okay so this is it so pick color from here Control T for free transform. Increase the size. So type in the next test. Yummy and the daily shirts. Okay, Control T. Press Enter. Take this up. Change the color to white. Press enter. Free. Free. Home. Delay. Free. Okay. Control T. Increase the size. Take it up. Keep it under here. Control T. For few transform. Increase the yummy a little control T for free transform. Press enter. Then select the tray. Align them to the center. Press control T. Right click on the mouse. Select Q. Then drag this up. Keep it somewhere here. Press control T. Increase all of them. Press enter. Control G to group them. So Grab your test tool, drop, drag and drop it like this. So change the change the color to white, change the font to area regular. Press Ctrl T. Enter. So, press Ctrl S to save. So let's uh, type in the last test. Select the rectangle to you. Drag and drop it here. Change the edges. Adjust the edges. So 
sari and change the color to big color from here. So I align them to the center. Select it, remove the stroke. Then type in the test, order now. Order now. Press Ctrl T. Enter. Keep it here. Zoom it in using your scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in. Zoom something in. Order now. Change it to black or pick color from this blue. Keep it, keep it to the center. Select the test tool. Open the test panel. Change this to package. Okay. In the test panel, change it to a case. Press Ctrl T, reduce the size, press Enter. Align to the center. So, guys, let's summarize this design. Hold Ctrl Shift Alt, then press E to merge all this layer to a single layer. Go to Fire Camera Raw, increase the clarity, increase the blue, increase the yellow. This one, green, red. So this is the before and after. Press OK. So this is it. Press Control S to save. So let's save this as image. Go to File, Save as JPEG, JPEG, JPEG. Okay. Save it. Save it as image. So let's look for this. Burger restaurant. So, so this is the final result of this um, tutorial. So, guys, if you like, if you learn something new today, and you also enjoy this video, please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you're going to be notified anytime I drop new video. Thank you, guys, for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.